So I'm here at Team Viewers event in Melbourne. We're here for the Formula One, and Team Viewer is actually sponsoring uh, the Mercedes Benz team. And we've seen an incredible demonstration of Team Viewer's frontline AR at work. So I have with me Oliver Steil. He's the CEO of Team Viewer near Stuttgart in Germany. You've come all the way. Uh, for this event. So, um, look, that was an incredible demonstration of just how TeamViewer has uh, taken uh, augmented reality and uh, really broadened what you do. And clearly, you've been working at this for a long time. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, I think we have been uh, developing our product to really cater for the needs of large organizations, large customers. Uh, we have developed our own augmented reality solution and then we have done uh, acquisitions to augment uh, the portfolio and now we I think have a very very strong range of solutions uh, for logistics for manufacturing uh, supply chain servicing and so forth yeah during the fireside chat we got to see a demonstration of the head mounted Android tablet I mean I've seen on the team viewer app for several years you've been advertising something called team viewer pilot to help people and uh, clearly that's come a long way I mean uh, it, it probably won't be too long before it'll be widespread in the enterprise but at the moment it's still early days right yeah so it's uh, interesting you mentioned team your pilot because there we put augmented reality on smartphones mm. and tablets yeah. uh, which have a big market however in many companies you need hands-free workers uh, so frontline workers need to have their hands available to perform the task for this you need glasses now we have very capable glasses uh, available from different vendors uh, realware for example one of them Guzix, uh, and many others uh, and I think now it's about uh, to be industrialized as a process and the interesting thing is that large organizations around the globe are now adopting uh, this technology and I would say it will take uh, a little bit more uh, but we are certainly very close to the tipping point and in some markets it's already widespread. Yeah, well I mean I remember seeing you know, Google Glass you know, 10 years ago and it was at the beginning and it was primitive but now the solutions that I've seen I mean the real wear glasses are two and a half thousand dollars US and I'm sure that we're gonna start seeing them over the next few years before the 2030s it, you know very widely rolled out in um, you know, your mechanics yes. and everywhere yes so, that's what uh, we see in, in, in many industries now uh, that uh, that people are adopting it I think you, you, you refer to it the topic is a bit older but I think uh, many industry particip participants were also searching for the best application and what to do with it really. Mm. And I think we all know uh, from, from our head out head up displays in cars, for example, how powerful augmented reality versus virtuality can mm. be for your daily life and for your process. And that's that's the breakthrough now because now people understand they need to see the environment, they need to see their workplace, they need to perform their normal tasks and they get help with it with the glasses, and that's the breakthrough. Yeah, well we saw the demo of how the frontline worker was doing pick and pack in a, in a uh, warehouse and also being able to do mechanical repairs. And uh, I mean, I, you know, I've read it. I mean, I'm a big believer in augmented reality and I'm just waiting for it to come down to the consumer level. But it's great to see that the industrial level, it's finally becoming real and that, uh, you know, people are going to be really implementing this over the next few years in a huge way. And obviously, Tim Viewer is a big part of that. Yeah, and I think this, we have some uh, we have some enabling technologies also which are coming, right? A, the glasses uh, have become much more lightweight, much more powerful. Mm. Uh, battery development is progressing very significantly, so you can use those glasses for the whole working day, so that's a good thing. Uh, makes it even easier, lighter, uh, and better in terms of usability. And of course, connectivity is improving. In many countries, we're now rolling out 5G networks, so which means and industrial footprints uh, in plants and logistics and warehouse centers who have full connectivity all the time yeah. and we have the cloud infrastructure so these things coming together drive the adoption it's 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 at the uh, it's coming now yeah tell us a bit about the partnership with mercedes-benz the sponsorship from team viewer yeah so it's a it's a technology partnership really uh, i think obviously uh, formula one is uh, the fastest laboratory of the world so technology advancements happen there uh, the interesting piece is there is advancement but there is also a very strong focus on reliability uh, every fancy technology doesn't help you if the car is not uh, if is not finishing <laughs> yeah, so we have right. to finish first yeah. right and uh, and therefore I think they do a very interesting trade-off of innovation and uh, application under stress. Uh, and uh, they've been approaching us last year. Uh, they've been using Team Viewer for quite some years uh, and wanted to know whether we're interested in developing more use cases together. And of course, obviously, also sponsoring the car and, and transmit our brand uh, to the world. Yeah. And also, you uh, 
had a uh, an office opening in Adelaide, which I think you've been here for some years. Tell us about the uh, the Adelaide office, which is obviously a big part of the Asia Pacific region. Yeah, so uh, Asia Pacific was our third region that we went after as team. Your team is only 16 years old now, mm. uh, but already I think uh, in year six uh, we started to be present uh, in the Asia Pacific region, actually starting out of Adelaide as our hub. Uh, it's now our biggest office by far in the region. Uh, we have uh, sales there, customer care, marketing, all functions that you need. Uh, and we just had a 10 year anniversary. Uh, new office, uh, very much look alike, the German headquarters, uh, transmitting the team your culture. So, very proud to present it uh, to the public. Uh, and we're very committed to the country here. It's one of our biggest countries because we've been around in the region. Uh, Australia is a big market for us, New Zealand is a big market. Uh, and we continue to drive this forward. But now, all also amended by offices in Japan, Singapore, China, Mumbai to really make Asia Pacific a much, a much, much bigger part of our business. And obviously with COVID, there was a lot of digital acceleration, a lot of uh, technology adoption. So what's the sort of short version of how everything has you know, accelerated through COVID for TeamViewer? Yeah, I think the short version is that in 2020, very significant extra growth uh, in all regions. Uh, we had days where there was a massive demand because people needed resilience, they needed workarounds, they needed remote care capabilities. Uh, I think now 2021 was then compared to this slower and now we are back into the uh, kind of strategic deployment of all these technologies across uh, across industries. Uh, strong focus on enterprise customers for us um, and, uh, and now we're almost back to normal, we all hope. Uh, yeah, yeah. Being here in Melbourne uh, for the race uh, is a fantastic event after two years of cancellation. So I think we all look forward to engage again and showcase our solutions and, and drive the business and enterprise as well. Any final messages for the people watching no thank you i think it's a it's a it's a very strong technology uh we enjoy uh, to be here as team viewer in the region honestly uh and uh, we also enjoy just to be at the racetrack and see what's going on uh and uh, and engage with people again oliver style ceo of team viewer thank you very much for your time i hope we can talk again in the future thank you thank you very much for your hospitality thank you thank you